we're talking about, you know, respect and authority. Look, life, just because you have a boss or somebody is an authority doesn't mean you're less than. It's just the way it is. She's the authority um, on her basketball team. I'm the authority on my team. You know, we start um, on Sunday in the big three. And it does. It just means that, you know, coaches coach and prepare you and players play and they determine probability and outcome. That's the greatest thing you can do as, as a player. But I also think as we're moving into this generation of, you know, people standing up for their, for their rights. I said, we want to be on the right side of history on this. And I said, and if we do nothing and we're silent, then we're wrong and we're and it's not okay and so we, what we decided to do was we decided we didn't want to make people feel disrespected but at the same time we wanted people to know that what was going on in the world and in the United States at the time was not okay so we decided to just walk off before the national anthem started and it's something that made history I think everyone's still talking about it because it was game five of the finals actually so it was an important game. This was a deciding factor because it's the best of five, and we were tied 2-2. Two, two. And of course, when we came back on the court, we were booed. They, people were so mad at us. But I think at the end of the day, people really appreciated what we did, and they understood what we did, and it made a difference. Um, and now you can see WNBA players. I think that they're on the forefront of this uh, social injustice. You can see WNBA players talking a lot and they're really leading the charge on that. And I guess that's my little walking moment so that the next people can run. Nobody in the outside world can separate me from Tiffany Jackson. They don't have the right. And just because we look different doesn't mean we can't love each other and champion each other and be there for one another.